Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised in the city of our God, to the mountain of His holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth. Is Mount Zion in the sight of the north, the city of the great King? Is Mount Zion in the sights of the north, the city of the great King? One body, one spirit, one faith, one Lord, one people, one nation. Praise ye the Lord. One body, one spirit, one faith, one Lord, one people, one nation. Praise ye the Lord. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, bind us together in love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, I welcome you all to this second Sunday after Epiphany, the 16th January, 7.30 a.m. morning worship service. Online ritual coming together. God is present with us. And wherever you are, ask God to bless and present his presence with us. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we humbly come to your throne of grace. As we are in our houses, respective places, that you have permitted us to obey the command, the direction of the government that you have given to us to save our lives, to save our neighbors, to save this country from the COVID spread and the Omicron new virus. But we know that, O oh Lord, you are more concerned in each and every one of us lives. And you are taking care of us, providing all our needs, 
you are breeding our children and the elderly and giving us a safe home and protection in all over the all the way as we celebrate and worship this service coming together in your presence lord be with us and present bless us through jesus christ our lord amen Join with me in preparation of the today's confession. You can follow the order of service from 23 page onwards. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I will arise and go to my father and I will say to him father I have sinned against heaven and before you I am no longer worthy to be called your son The kingdom of God is at hand repent and believe in the gospel Let us kneel and examine ourselves in silence Let us confess 
the confessional sin that is seen in the digital board on 24th page together with me o god our father we have sinned against you in thought word and deed we have not loved you with all our heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves have mercy upon us we beseech you cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults through jesus christ our lord amen may the almighty god and merciful father grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the holy spirit amen may you please join together in today's collect the second sunday after epiphany one baptism one body and one baptism 16th january sovereign god who called the entire church to be the body of christ grant us courage to affirm our faith in one body and in one baptism and we are baptized into the body of christ help us to realize your transformative power which enables us to build an ecumenical community around us your transformative power which enables us to create a happy environment in the society may our baptism experience continue to affect us bringing revival and renewal within us to be the vibrant channels of unity justice and peace through jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen please be seated for the bible reading The scripture reading is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 beginning at verse 1 Ephesians chapter 4 beginning at verse 1 As a prisoner for the Lord then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to one hope when you were called one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all but each one of us grace has been given as christ apportioned it this is why it is says when he ascended on high he took many captives and gave gifts to his people This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. but it's my joy to share the word of god today on the 16th live stream service on the theme one body one baptism we try to understand what is baptism and one body the ceremony of baptism it is practiced more than 
two thousand years in Christendom. And before that, before Christian faith or before Christ, it was a practice in the Jewish sect, Jewish religion and in other sects also, clan and sects, as a ceremony of cleansing the body and as a symbol of repentance. Through Bap John the Baptist, we come to know, repent and receive the baptism. That's the challenge and the call John the Baptist was giving to his followers and the listeners. You know, Jesus took baptism with the uh, blessed presence of John the Baptist and he requested when he was refusing to give baptism to Jesus and he took baptism with the help of John the Baptist in River Jordan and at that time the images and the gospel writers they give to us the background that we understand that there was a voice he is my beloved son in whom I love and God the Holy Spirit was coming down from heaven as a symbol as a mark of God's presence and God was receiving Jesus blessing Jesus and introducing Jesus to this world through the Tao the symbol of Tao always the Tao is a symbol of divine presence as a symbol of blessings to his people and there was a voice came the son of God he is I, I love him he is my beloved son and the son of, was, son of God was in the river river Jordan so you can see the sequence the voice from God the father the Tao the symbol of Holy Spirit God the Holy Spirit and the son of God Jesus Christ was in the water and uh, John the Baptist gave the baptism to Jesus Christ as I said it is a very uh, pretty old custom and uh, ritual that is practiced in Christianity as well as continu the continuity of the Jewish faith in CSI we practice one baptism baptizing persons whether the person is a child or adult by water baptism by Im immersion baptism sprinkling baptism or pouring water on the head or the forehead this is what we practice in uh, CSI but strictly in faith we follow one baptism there is no multiple baptism that we are expected to take that is biblically and faithfully we should not give multiple baptism uh, to people because obviously the baptizer is God but we are the priest or the pastors they are used as a mediator as instrument but God who own he is giving the baptism as we heard the reading from Ephesians chapter 4 it's a little exercise that I would, would like to tell you how many one is mentioned one one God one faith one community one baptism all such things are listed out by Saint Paul so you can just read and come to know how many one in that one baptism one God and one body also it is mentioned baptism is in CSI it is under, understood as one of the sacraments we have accepted two sacraments that is Holy Communion and baptism in John chapter 3 verse 26 it's a fascinating uh, scripture uh, portion that Jesus along with the disciples his disciples he gave baptism and there is a, a vague understanding whether Jesus was giving baptism and it was recorded in John chapter 3 <coughs> verse 26 that Jesus gave baptism to people along with his disciples it was a ritual practiced by Jews as I said Jewish culture and the sect as a pouring of water or dipping or taking bath into the river 
nowadays uh, the baptism the meaning of baptism is interpreted uh, in a distorted way the many people they interpret the meaning of baptism very differently as they uh, whatever they think they interpret the passage whether what is the right baptism they argue only the adult baptism after confession of sins it is the right baptism because john the baptist was repent and take the baptism come for bap- baptism this is what they call he gave and jesus also of course being an adult he took baptism so all that based on that the preachers and the pastors in several churches they argue and uh, come out with the uh, thinking that taking adult baptism or immersion baptism is the right way of uh, doing or getting baptism but it's obviously is a symbolical act is a symbolism is involved because in my the beginning of my message it's i said the baptizer is god whether the mode of baptism is essential or why we baptize is essential so the life after baptism is more expected in the sight of god than the mode what we baptize and the mode what we baptize people is getting a lesser importance but in the sight of god baptism is blessed by god and the son of god he was taking baptism and he is making holy of the, the ritual of baptism by taking that and he also said he took baptism and he asked us to go and baptize and train people go and baptize people in the name of god father and holy spirit this is what our lord asked us to make disciples by baptizing people inviting people into church <clears throat> john the baptist uh, in john's gospel matthew gospel 3 verse 11 he was calling and he was giving a different dimension about a baptism he said i as the john the baptizer i give you baptism by water but i expect there is one person is going to come after me he is going to baptize you with holy spirit and fire this is what he preached and he interpreted about the the meaning and the depthness of baptism fire is the symbol of purifying or preparing to be holy this is what every fire when there is a fire when you get a beautiful ornament it has to undergo the fiery situation the beautiful ornament a necklace or whatever you do with a, a costly jewel it has to go through the process of fiery situation burning situation so that it can give us a signing jewel as a signing jewel, jewel we we appreciate wearing it we feel happy so when john the baptist was telling the one who is going to come after me he will baptize you with fire so that we can live as holy people the fiery situation i will come back to you after that interpreting what john the baptist he meant when he is saying when was he was saying about the holy spirit and fiery fire with the fire jesus christ is going to baptize you holy spirit for what purpose john the baptist was telling he will baptize you through holy spirit when a person is given baptism it is understood and in faith we accept that particular person is being accepted into the body of christ the church in the ecclesia in the community of believing christ community of christ as the head and we are the uh, little little branches little little pieces little little bricks in the body of christ so when a person a child or an adult through sprinkling baptism or immersion baptism 
whatever be the mode we we adapt but for all everybody invariably to everyone to whether the girl child or male child whether the old person or the adult person women or men for equally god grants his own spirit so that we can bear fruit in this world the purpose of giving submitting a person for baptism in the presence of god among the believers is to ask god to bless and bless the child or the person to bear fruit in this society so we follow that as i used to encourage the congregation if someone comes for baptism i used to take them to feel go back to the centuries when jesus asked before he was ascended into heaven he asked and commanded as a command go and preach the gospel baptize people this is one of the great commandments of jesus christ baptize baptize people in the name of god son and the holy spirit make disciples this is what jesus commanded so when we obey that obviously we commit and we fulfill the word of our lord jesus christ when you do that god the giver of all the gifts he will give everything to a person he will give his grace he will give his joy he will bless in this world and after this world also everyone who is getting baptism there is a, a lot of uh, faith meaning we can give in interpret one who is submitted to through the baptism into accepted into the community of faith to the church is accepted into the body of christ through the earthly body of christ our christian church we are accepted into the body the, the invisible body of holiness holy body of christ and holy body of god the uh, healer the creator the creator god through the grace of god the holy spirit we accept and one who enters into the wider life of the church a blessed journey of faith journey that we admit you can observe in the churches the baptistry pond particularly in the divine patients you can see a stone um, baptistry pond is there at the entrance of the church when you get uh, entered through the eastern two sides of the gate there is a beautiful uh, engraved stone baptistry pond and there is a, a hole a bowl like a hole is there and which symbolizes that why people there the elders the priests in those times kept the baptist pond at the entrance where very entry of the church and there are a number of churches you can see at the center or the just in front of the pulpit you can see in in many of the churches nowadays due to uh, various changes in the church and church christian worship uh, lifestyle uh, we use a small vessel it all symbolizes different different meaning but keeping baptist pond at the entry very entry of the church is to tell the fact that baptizing person is the very very first stepping stone for a person to receive into the body of christ and he he is invited into the uh, life of the faithful people those who are already following christ and is the first stepping stone for a person to continue a faith journey so there are lot 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 more meaning i can go on uh, preach uh, today about the, the the theme one body one baptism as i said in csi tradition we follow only one baptism taking multiple baptism it is entirely wrong whether it is a child baptism or adult baptism god is the giver you have to understand the meaning and we have to understand how we are giving the baptism the mode of baptism is is not the important thing that in the from the sight of god but why we baptize people uh, 
that is the important in the sight of God. When you submit or when somebody is taking baptism, he or she is admitted, accepted in the body of Christ, the ecclesia, the wider fellowship of Christian family and the Christian church to bear fruit and uh, live according to God's blessing and guidance. And as we are faith community, as we profess the confession of faith and we are baptized into uh, our Lord Jesus Christ because he took baptism and he asked us to baptize people and make disciples in the name of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. God will be with us and bless us as we listen to the word and obey to him. Amen. Having heard the word of God, we shall affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed, if you have your prayer book, it is on page 40 in your prayer book. However, it will be on the overhead screen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. A few announcements for the coming week. Until such time, the government revises its policy of uh, opening up the religious places for worship. We shall continue to have our worship pre-recorded. From time to time, our pastor will give us an updated information regarding the conduct of Sunday services in person or physical services on Sundays. Let us pray for those who are sick and need of our prayers. Let us pray for them, praise. Our gracious and loving God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for you are always concerned <coughs> about us and about our welfare, <coughs> our situation and our circumstances we are placed in, O Lord. And we know too, Lord, that you're always desirous of, of us having good health and strength, Lord, physical, spiritual, and emotional also, Lord. And so we pray for the dear children who need your healing touch. Pray, have mercy upon them, Lord. Grant them the necessary grace as they continue to wait for your healing. Strengthen them, O Lord. Increase their faith in you, Lord, and in your precious promises from your precious word, so that as they continue to wait for their healing, knowing that in your time you make all things most beautiful, may they continue to grow strong, spiritually and emotionally also, Lord, as they wait for their physical healing. Bless all those who are looking after them, Lord. Give them also the grace and the health and the strength in taking care of their loved ones so that, O oh Lord, together as a family, they will bring glory and honor to your great and wonderful name. We pray, O oh Lord, for the medical team, for the medication also, that it will have its desired positive healing effect on these dear children who are waiting for the healing. Bless them, Lord, and glorify your great name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Birthdays and uh, wedding anniversaries for this week. Today, the 16th, is the birthday of Master Jude Samuel. The 17th is uh, Dr. Pratap Chandar Pondraj. On the 18th, Mrs. Pansy Manikam. On the 19th, Mr. C.E.S. Azariah and baby Judith Godfrey. On the 21st, Dr. A.D. Barnabas, Mr. Phillips J. Kumar, Mr. Evangeline, Mrs. Evangeline Susan Daniels, and Master Anshul Thomas. 
on the 22nd, Mr. Varun Emmanuel. <coughs> Wedding anniversaries. On the 16th, Mrs. Shayamala Sampath Kumar and Mr. G. Sampath Kumar. On the 17th, Mrs. Venita David and Dr. Pradeep Kumar David. On the 18th, Dr. Mrs. Lily Arun Paul and Dr. Arun Paul. 19th, Mrs. Rebecca Navamani and Dr. Prabhakar Navamani. On the 20th, Mrs. Belinda Theophilus and Mr. G. Theophilus. As also Mrs. Suganti Jemima and Mr. Franklin Charles. The good Lord bless these dear children as they celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. And may he add his very special blessings on their special day. Let us pray. God bless you on your birthday and wedding anniversary. God bless you and sustain you with each new dawning day. God grant you grace and wisdom to travel life's highway. God give you strength and courage when things perplex your mind. God help you reach your cherished goal you seek and strive to find. God comfort you when distress and trouble come your way. God be with you and watch over you. We humbly ask and pray. Amen. We shall follow the intercessory prayers on page uh, six, the second litany on page six. For the peace that is from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of God's holy churches and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for our bishops and all other ministers, especially our moderator and our bishop and the moderator of the Church of North India and the Metropolitan of the Mount Thoma Church, that with a good heart and a pure conscience, they may accomplish their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the president of our republic, the prime minister, the governor of our state and the chief minister, and all those who serve in the government, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the sick, the suffering, the sorrowful, and the dying. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for the poor, the hungry, orphans, and widows, and them that suffer persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for ourselves and all who confess the name of Christ, that we may show forth the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that with all his servants who have served him here and are now at rest, we may enter into the fullness of his unending joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before thee for all estates of people in thy holy church, that every member of the same, in his or her vocation and ministry, may truly and godly serve thee through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Savior Christ had commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Jack Shinaya and uh, Thambi David, and the broadcasting team as they are here to help with us to do the pre-recording of this service. I appreciate their sharing of time with us. Also, before I pronounce the benediction, uh, I feel happy of sharing that the three months tailoring course that being conducted uh, in the Center of Friends, uh, Center of Friends of our church um, under the guidance of um, uh, brother, the elderly brother, Walton Woolrich, as guided and decided by the past aid committee and with the best wishes of the past chairman, the treasurer and the secretary as well. 
and on behalf of the congregation it is my joy that it is the training was concluded uh, last monday and with the uh, final session of thanksgiving prayer and a certificate will be distributed um, to the persons those who underwent training uh, in the uh, normal days when we meet in the divine service they will be invited and uh, given a certificate of recognition for their training they took underwent uh, and it is a joyful thing and it has really transformed their lives so many good witnesses and positive stories the success stories of this program um, i appreciate uh, the persons those who have insti initiated for in the original and in the former time and it should it should continue because it is a worthwhile uh, training and a fruitful training and brother dr barnabas also was with us and he really helped us to um, do the uh, coverage of the program and thanks for to him also and on behalf of the pastor and the pc members i would say again i uh, share this concern and the happy thing that our church is doing god be with us and let us continue the journey of uh, training many more in the days to come let us commit ourselves in silence and ask god to bless us lord we thank you for as we have thought about one body one baptism as your children we are baptized in you and living as your child in this world as a baptized christian and we know that oh lord you are we are under your care because we belong to the body of christ with that faith bless us we commit ourselves oh lord wherever we are and we know that you are holding the future and every moment of our life maybe this scary situation may not affect our living condition oh lord we commit our children and the particularly the elderly and take care of them provide all our needs and may we come together in a short time after all the devilish virus are settled and as we all comfortable enough to live happily with your grace
Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and love of God the Father and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Have a nice day. God be with you. Spirit.